Hello everybody, my name is Pobzer, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, Mark of the Monkey. That is what we are doing right now. We're going to be Leo. I'm scared Leo has a bad deck. As Carly fell from the Arcadia, move as Carly fell from the Arcadia Movement Building, she was absorbed by Purple Mist and vanished. Did he push her out the window? Soon afterward, the earth began to quake and Carly reappeared as a dark singer. Of course she did. Signer. I was told it was Signer, I think. Get out of my building! But I'm here to ask you for a rematch, Sayer. I must be th seeing things. Is that you, Carly? But you fell. The Dark Signers are actively recruiting duelists to join their cause, and they chose yours truly. That's bad news for you. Sayer and Carly began a shadow duel, and a series of quakes continued to hit the Arcadian Movement Tower. Sayer was defeated by Dark Signer Carly and seemingly fell to his doom from atop the Arcadia headquarters. Seemingly. During the battle, Earthbound Immortal... Oh god. Osla Pizku was summoned and began destroying the entire building. Fortunately, Leo, Luna, Bolt, and Tenzu, Tenzin used this opportunity to escape Arcadia headquarters. Luna! How'd you guys find me? This is the eighth door, Bolt. This is the eighth door Bolt has knocked in. I need to break this glass to get to Leo. Leo, you alright? Where's Luna? Is she okay? I'm right in front of you, Leo. I'm so glad you're safe. It's not like I'm helpless without you. So, uh, what am I doing in this room? Oh no, let's not talk about it right now. I mean, let's get out of here! Akiza managed to escape the collapsing building with the rest of Yusei's friends. And the Earthbound Immortal vanished along with the Dark Signer. Elsewhere, a new Domino, a newly detained Geiger. Grieg. Grieger? I've forgotten. I've forgotten how to say everything. Received a surprising rescue. Uh, who are you? The name's Devik. I know what Goodwin did, good, good did to you, Gregor, and your village. I know you're angry, and I know you still want revenge. I can help you get that revenge. Come with me. Meanwhile, Yusei Fudo and the rest of the signers met with Goodwin to discuss recent events. Let me give you a... Oh, no, not a history lesson! Thousands of years ago, a huge war was fought where the Crimson Dragons defeated the armies of Shadow. Afraid that the armies would one day return, destroy the world, the Crimson Dragon looked for, locked them underground. Magic symbols were carved into the earth, trapping their essence for millennia. In time, the shadows were forgotten and their prisons became a tourist destination known as the, known as the Nazca Lines. Oh, get the... <laughs> the shadows weren't willing to stay defeated. They wanted revenge, which they are now getting with the help of the signers. I believe some of you have already experienced the Dark Signers' dangerous monsters firsthand. You mean the Earthbound Immortals? Yes, their strength is staggering, for they contain the very power of the Army of Shadows. We get it, they're bad, let's take them out! Our task goes far beyond beating an army, an enemy. It's a rescue operation for all those poor people who have been corrupted by the power of the darkness. After talking with Goodwin, the Signers' team headed into satellite in order to... Wait, what? The Signer team headed into satellite to stop the Dark Signers? Jesus, that's confusing. Get a different name, people. The Signer team split up, each setting out to battle a different Dark Signer, each with their own mo movements, motivations. The Dark Signer Deva could take an ancient fairy dragon and was keeping it from Luna. In an attempt to find and rescue her ancient fairy da dragon, Luna transported to the spirit world. While Leo searched for Luna, he came across Devic and is pulled into a duel against the Dark Signer. Who are you? You're not a signer. What are you doing here? I'm here to duel you. That's if you think you're strong enough to take me on. Is this some kind of joke? Where's the girl? Why isn't she here? I told her to come. Well, she's busy. You're going to have to duel me instead, mister. I may not be a signer, but that doesn't mean I can't rock a deck. Ooh, I wouldn't say that. I applaud your enthusiasm, but I'm afraid you can't sim... You simply do not have the power to match me, boy. I insist. If you insist on being destroyed, so be it. Ha! Huh. I forgot that happens, where you have like four minutes of reading, sometimes. Uh, scissors. As always, scissors. Second. You know, it only took me, what, uh, 50 episodes of this to figure out that I should edit out the loading screen? I'm good. I'm good at what I do. Let's see. Oh, he put down a field card. I actually think I know this field card. I don't remember what it does, but all beast-type monsters control 
you control gain a hundred and for each monster in your graveyard oh gain a hundred attack for each monster in your graveyard field spell cards cannot be activated and it can't be activated the turn this is destroyed oh man he's gonna have an awful deck isn't he this is gonna be one of those things where he has a terrible deck Select and special summon one level 4 or lower Morphotronic monster from your graveyard. Destroy it during the end phase. That's okay. It's a thing. Once per turn while in attack position, you can target one monster in your graveyard. Banish it. This becomes the same level. Uh, this becomes the same level. Once per turn while in defense, you can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard and add one more with the same level. Um, okay. Have another one. While on attack, once per turn, you can special summon a level 4 monster from your hand, destroy it during the end. Oh! While on defense, this card is level 4. Oh! So I can. Oh! And they're all level. Oh! Okay. When your life points are lower than your opponent's, the equipped monster's attack becomes double. While your life points are higher, the equipped monster's attack becomes half. Okay, that's a double-edged sword. Uh, return one monster from your hand to your deck and destroy one card in the field. Draw another card. Okay. Yep. Uh, bye. I'll get rid of that. I don't want that field card on the field. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and use this guy and see what happens. It's a once per turn thing, also. Unless I can't do it. Once per turn, you can special summon from your hand. From your hand. Suck a butt. Oh, that killed that. Okay. <laughs> I won't question it. I should have read that better. I thought it said I could summon one level four from my deck. I was incorrect. It was very incorrect. Nice suicide. It was incorrect. Once per turn, you can target in your graveyard, banish it, and add one monster with the same level as the target from your deck to your hand. Huh. Okay. Weird. While in attack position, this can... Oh, I can attack twice! While in defense, when a face-up Mofatronic monster you control is targeted, you can negate it. Cool. Cool card. I guess it'd be OP if it had more attack. It'd be really strong if it had more attack and defense, so... I can see why it doesn't. Kind of cool. Kind of a cool card, actually. What does this do? Because it's actually less if I just... What does this do? Pay 1500 target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon them to your side of the field in attack position, and equip it with this card. When this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. Oh. Cool. What's in this graveyard? Anything good? No. Uh, 1500. So what do you do? Once per turn, you can reveal three equipped spell cards from your deck, and then your opponent randomly adds one to your hand. And then the rest are shuffled. If this card would be destroyed while an equipped with an equip spell card, you can send that card to the graveyard instead. That's kind of cool. I'm, I'm okay with... That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this twice again. Unless he stops me. He didn't. Okay. And then I'm going to special summon. Because I believe he'll just kill it this turn he'll have something stronger this turn and kill it so I'll put this guy down and roll from there I could equip him with this 
but I'm not going to. Uh, sorry. Ah, sorry. Ignore that. I'm not sleepy. You're sleepy. Really? Really? Man. Wait, what's his effect? Once per turn. Oh, let's try that real quick. Maybe there's a card that, like, adds attack? If the equipped monster attacked, the attack target... Okay, that's too much. Um, equip only to a power tool dragon. During your turn, it gains a thousand. Ah, yes, definitely. And definitely, and that one. I bet he picks Snatch and Steal. I doubt he would pick that one. Because he... Oh no, he randomly picks it, right? It's random. He doesn't get to, like... Oh, I did get it. So if I... Do this... That's the game, no? Why didn't you stop that? Why didn't you stop that last time? Why didn't he do that last time? I don't know. Huh, okay. That should have been the game. I mean, it shouldn't have been, obviously. He had a thing to stop me, but still. Why didn't he stop me before? Huh. Huh. special summon. I'm good. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Hey! I'm getting lucky, I feel. Lunar that was not a... That was good. Luna returned from the spirit world and regained ancient fairy dragon. With Leo and Luna's combined power, they were able to defeat Devic. This is totally a happy ending moment. Except this isn't the ending. Leo, you were really great. Why, why was he just standing there watching? Sniff! You cry, baby. Why was you say just standing there watching? Oh, good, I'm Crow. Oh, I hate that guy. He had the, like, most annoying deck of all of the decks in the entire game when I was going through it normally. Oh, that guy was an asshole. Anyway, we'll do a whale of a ride. A whale of a tale to tell ye lads. And it'll be next time. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, stay awesome, everybody. And bye-bye now.